an old station this morning. We had two stations, which is very weird. Okay, so we're just arriving right now. So today we're going to the Hound and Viaduct. So let's get ready. Okay, just getting out of the car. There we go. Okay, my dad's just looking in the car. Okay. So uh, basically when you come out to Hamden and you get this uh, kind of like trail here. It's a bit, it's a bit boggy underfoot, Dad. Okay. Seems like we've got a bit of bog to handle with here. Ooh. Whoa. We've got quite a lot of birds here today. Can't see there's a crow up there. Okay. Okay, have you, have you, if you can't see, look how steep that is to get up there. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna start getting up. Wait, we could have just gone up here. I never noticed this part. Oh, it's so much easier. Look. So guys, literally, we usually go up that way, but I just discovered a much easier way because usually I have to like kind of rock climb it. So when you get to the top, you meet this like flat bit, forestry kind of area. And then the viaduct's just over there, but should we show them the station first? Andrew, yeah, because yeah, um, usually when you come here, bro, uh, oh, I remember this. I remember plonking my head right here. But um, so you take your left to the station. You might have to clear up some moths, but then you'll be able to see the two platforms. Remember that. So uh, it is very sunny out here. And so we kind of meet this junction here, right here. And then the station came here, so the tra tracks there. Were there. Was there two or three layers? I think there's three, most likely. Because they go through the bushes over there and there, probably. Because if the station's gonna be like between here, then they'd have to go either side. So uh, remember when I found the ballast um, on the station? Because if you're lucky, you can find some old ballast, which was usually in the ground, but if I find some, I'll show you guys. Which way did we go? So it seemed that we took the wrong turning, so we're just walking back here. Um, Cause I remember coming down this way. Or was it? Okay, so um, it was this way, but uh, okay, let's show you. So uh, this is like, see look, there's some ballast over here, Dad. So this is what ballast would have looked like. It's the thing that uh, keeps the railway like stone and then it makes your hands all mucky. So it's all along here. Surprisingly, not many people have picked it up. Should we take a sample to get home? But we don't have a bag. So look, tons of ballast down there. It's pretty cool, but it gives you really dirty fingers. So these are just usual stones. But if you're lucky, you can find these massive ones kind of like over here. So uh, some more ballast. Okay, so uh, the ballast is pretty cool. We have quite a lot of it here, but see look, this is where I think the tracks used to cross. The train would probably come down here or here. Then there's this like junction, so there'd probably be like and kind of like a wooden cabin here where the railway person would be and they just cross right here, steam train. Then if you're lucky, you will see the, well you don't have to be that lucky, but there is a massive corner. So there's tons of ballast here. Surprised that no one's like ticket to a museum or something. Because um, at home I've got this massive ball of ballast, even bigger than my hand. And I think I was pretty lucky to find it because most of it will just be eroded in the rain. The sooner you pick it up, the more worth it'll be. See, look, that's a big one there. Really big one. See, so up here, you this would be like the kind of like, uh, what do you call it? The uh, railway keeper's cabin thing. This here, right here. What's it called? That's the station master's house. Station master's. 
when you come to here, I think this is the coal supply, isn't it? It would have been a storage or something like yeah. that. Yeah. When you come into like this place here, let me just give you this pretty cool because there's wood planks and everything. But me and my dad believe it was a coal storage because there's lots of ballast and coal here, so there probably would have been a lot of coal in here. Or it was just a place to store metal because there is a metal rod down there, but uh, this is pretty cool in here. Okay, so uh, when you come this way, we should get to the station. Surprising how all of this is walking away. Do we go left or right? Yeah, because that's where the trains would have gone in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, you just have to be really careful because my dad doesn't want his face being shown. Um, so down there, I th the trains have passed because the station's going to be down here. Is it, has it been for sale yet? It's like 380 grand. I thought it was going to be for sale for like 3 million, but it was 380 grand. So look, I'm on the platform, look. Oh, it used to be plain though. Oh yeah, so look, it was a very large station, but... Since January, I think a lot of it's overgrown because now it's uh, spring, not winter. It's about to turn summer on the 25th of June. So, um, if you come down here, here is the usual place. And look, if you come here really carefully, you will see the old platform. It's really nice. So, look, let's brush some of the moss away. Look at that. And then come to this side. I don't think you can really see it because it's all overgrown. And then I remember um, in January, wasn't it? Um, we had to take a big jump down there to explore it. Dad, do you want to take a jump down there to explore it? Remember we used to jump down there? Well, we did it once, so we didn't used to do it. Come on then, you go first. Don't want to show your face. So look, this is really clear. This is basically the big version of the Brackley Rider. Go to the left of you. I'll face the camera this way. Basically, you just come down. Do you want to... So uh, basically, uh, this is the old station bit, and this is like the platform. So the trains would have used to come down here. So if I just come down here, this is where the trains used to run. Then right here is really old bricks here. Talking about 1940-ish. So then um, come down here get an even more clear view, show them. So it is pretty cool. And then, and then uh, there's nothing up there, it's just a dark overgrown forest. Okay, you can uh, stop there if you want. Okay. So, because we haven't really explored all of this vinyl, we just, we're, this is probably gonna be like maybe a 30 minute video because there's tons of places we haven't been to. I bet if we keep on going down here, yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, me and my dad are really interested in historical walks. Oh, look. I oh, remember that massive uh, signal area box. Like, remember that graffiti big box with all the graffiti in? Oh, what's this doing there? Wait, it has uh, a number on it. So look. It says 04-8705-7160. Then that just looks like another dash. I don't know. It's how safe to walk up. Dad, look. It's dirty. What's down there? This is all filled in now, but the railway line used to go. That used to yeah. be a, a tunnel. See, look, just look at that. I'm going to get close for the fans. See, look. If I zoom in, I'll get you really close. You need to look. There's a lot of um, sting nettles. Look at that. I wish we could get over this. But then there's a bunch of nettles. Filled in. And look, nettles. Yeah. I mean, if there's no nettles, we could be a bit cheeky and get past there. Okay, do you want to explore what's up there then? Sorry guys, my camera's going to have to be down because I'm just concentrating right now. See, look, we have like a little kind of this. And I think it's fairly modern because... Dad, I'm just standing on the platform. Okay, oh, it's the stick down there. Who'd want to build that in here? Okay. This is really old, it's really rustic. Whoa! Some teenagers must put up that there because... Oh, 
I'm guessing it's teenagers. It could have been adults. But Dad, you need to come up here, look. Massive trail. So basically, this is the station from the other side, isn't it? See, look, I'm gonna clear up all this rust. Then we'll be able to, see, look, if I got a spade, I can clean up all this dirt. So look, just clean up this dirt here. There, be some coal stone, look. We should bring maybe a spade here next time, or just a uh, poop scooper, and then be able to see what's under there. Oh, so then I think this conjoins you onto the new normal path. Let's see what's down there. Be careful, it's a big drop. Wow, that actually kind of hurt. See, look, then you get a POV from this way. I've never been down here before, so it's pretty exciting. But, um, it's basically the same over there, just from a different angle. It's a bit more clear, because there's a proper pathway and there's no nettles. So if you was, if you was brave enough, you could possibly, uh, get up there. Oh, Dad, look, I think you can get up there. Come on. You can if you want to. I mean, it's a lot of graffiti. So look, I like drainage. That all used to be. See, look, so interesting. Like, I've usually been to this viaduct, but we usually only go to the bridge. And then, it's just not a normal bridge. Okay, there's not a, there's not a place to get in. That's sad. Wait, I think there's, there's something from the other side, Dad. This is steep. I'm gonna be a bit careful. My dad's gonna take a picture of that. That's probably gonna be the fun now. Okay, so we're going to go to the what hut? Huh? Plate cutters. Um, yeah, plate. I think it was plate me. Plates me. What is, is that? Like the rubble? Plate layer. Plate layer. Yes, yes, there. Okay. So, uh, right now we're just uh, down here. Like this is very surprising. This is probably like a very big trail. I never knew this was here. Luckily, this all this walls and stuff haven't been demolished just yet. I think how uh, our town will possibly be eating Helmdom in the future because of how close it is. But, um, oh, wow. Ooh, it's got an obstacle. Dad, literally, you could have just done this. Easy. Okay, so, uh, right, so, uh, what's all of this, like, fluffy stuff on the floor? I got, I, I got it on the edge of my tongue. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think they use it to spread. So let's see, because we've been studying them in class a couple years ago. Um, see, look, I, I think if we're lucky, we could possibly find, like, some old artefacts, maybe. Oh, look, what's that? Dog bone. Oh, look at this. Do you want me to get in front? Yeah. Look at this. Never knew this walk was so big. Oh, we're back to the, we're back here. Yeah, so now let's go this way towards the viaduct. So, if you keep on going this way, then we'll end up to the main part of the walk. And it is the uh, viaduct. So possibly, I think that, see look, if you look up here. I remember going up here. Burnt yeah, this burnt down, like, did they burn it down on purpose? But look, you can still go on the inside. I remember we uh, went on the inside, but it was too dangerous, so I just stood here and look. There's tons of graffiti, but I don't know what this used to be, but there's loads of ballast on the floor, so it's just probably a ballast storage. And look, that is a proper good piece of ballast there. Look at this dab. Proper in shape. Just press it with a couple fingers, because it's... That is a piece of coal. Coal? Yeah, that's what they put it would have used on the steam train. I'm taking that home. Yep. Uh, it's annoying that I'm gonna have to hold it in my hand though. So that was obviously the coal storage. Cause there's coal in there, bits of ballast. So uh, that was pretty cool. See look, I zoom up on this. This is most likely a piece of coal. I've always ballast. But, uh, oh, do I see where these side junctions go? Or are we just gonna do them in? Oh, they, is it just uh, where the tracks used to go no, coming from? No, just, just, just a walk. Trees have taken over. Trees have taken over. Nature has come back. 
Yep. Nature's taking, nature's taking revenge. See, I, I really like this rock, like, it's not a rock, it's coal, but still, that's a good piece of coal, because that could have been wasted, but the, the, it was obviously, it's coal. This is like a good 70 years old. So this is like, kind of like a, so um, this has been sitting there for like 60, 70 years, but I think we should get back on topic onto the viaduct. Okay, so never been down to this bit before. Feels much lower than. Like I didn't, I didn't expect that there was this many parts of you. No. Didn't expect this. So this is the main, this is where the, both, this is where the line went. Now. So this is where the line went. Two lines next to each other down here. That tree that used to be there, of course. Yeah, of course. Because they wouldn't have gone through all this grass, would they? It would have just been massive rubble and tracks, like the normal railway lines. I'm very surprised how nature's just took all of it. Like, under this, under our feet, probably some, we should take a metal detector, I think you'd find a lot of like, old metal levers, chips, parts of trains. But uh, see, look how long this grass is. It shows that, that, how long it's been since the railway line's been here. Because how big the trees are is probably how long till it's been abandoned. Sad they had to shut it down. But then, if they didn't shut it down, then we wouldn't have any history to explore, really. Okay, so we're about to reach the normal viaduct. So do we just have to find something that goes up to there? So we'll just join onto it. So basically, it is, that's the main part of the walk, and surprisingly it's still standing. And then if you go to the... Brackley one, which is probably about 10 miles away from here. Um, it got demolished in 1974, I think, 1978. Yeah, because I saw a YouTube video on it. I'll, I'll uh, if you want me to, uh, guys, I'll, I'll link it in the description. I'll put it at the end of this video. So we're about to reach our main part of the walk now. It may just look like a, a tatty old abandoned bridge but from from down there when you get down to those fields down there you'll be surprised to see how healthy it is isn't it dad yeah. still in really good shape how many arches do you think there are um probably seven nearly mine i think it is yeah the Brackley one was much bigger wasn't it because um, according to the internet it went all the way to that field you know how it looks like a valley and all the way to that green field which is at least two miles Luckily our eyes can see for more than three miles if you're in a good position. So look at that view from over there. Whole view of the Hamden village. Oh, I never knew that there were sheep down there. I think that's why dogs need to be on leads now. Because we also need to go running down into those fields. So we had our dog here. As you probably, if you haven't seen my dog, he's the crazy one for my first video. And um, I think he uh, came, he was, he literally would probably just be going, running up and down. So we were just about to reach the bridge. So uh, just about to get to the bridge. So if you can't see down there, I'll show you in a minute when we get to the end of the viaduct. You got the old little signal box. It's actually in really good condition. I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm just gonna give you a little POV of what it looks like on the other side. And get down, look at that. It's truly amazing. Then from the other side, look at this, this side's a bit less damaged. And I think this one's more damaged. Look at all those cows, moo moo. Just look at that, big old bridge. Very big bridge. Okay, it's just surprising how big it looks. Cause look, if you just look over there, it looks like there's barely no forest, but it's, it's like an illusion, but just years of history. So, uh, play Player's Hut is over there, but I, I thought it was a signal box. I thought it was, but I think it's a play player. But what do they do? They kind of maintain uh, what right. an engineer fix, fix So, you can like, system. you can see where all the damaged parts are and where the tracks used to be. Because look, you see that all of it's dented, so yeah. that's, that could be all the old tracks. I think a signal box would have been bigger than that. Yeah, probably. 
because back then signal boxes weren't automated. They would allow to have a human inside. Yeah. But uh oh the gates are open. Yeah, I think we could walk up there. Then there's a gate. See. See, because uh of humanity's building, uh you can't really go that far, but if it was still like 19 like as soon as there was abandoned there'd be so much more to walk because humanity didn't have as much buildings in britain back then see that we're just getting pretty close to the box yeah it should be a bit muddy because back in the winter all the sheep were cramped up in there i think it's because they were so cramped it kept them warm but yeah just got some puddles up here so I'm gonna move to the right. Well it's just so nice to be walking in so much historic figure like I haven't been here in ages. I did not mm, know that it was so how we get through here. um Jack, I think our best bet is to jump over here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh my dad just said walk here. Oh yeah, smart idea. And then there's a pathway that comes around here. Hopefully. Uh... Hopefully. There's no animals in this field like it no, was. Because there were sheep in this field in the winter. It's a public footpath, so it might be alright. Yeah, that's why there's a public gate. Yep. Oh, we can get to the signal box up close. Wow. Look at this. Do you think this is even more rubble or just random rocks? Uh, well, it feels like it, like, that's ballast. It um, has a uh, black on my fingers. That's massive. Maybe next time we need to bring like a bag or something to collect some ballast and stuff. So look, look at that. It's bigger than it seems, doesn't it? Way bigger than it seems. Look at that. Ooh, wow. So we just had to climb over a gate, but uh, I think it was much more better than going through all of that. Just look at this. Oh wow, it's much more overgrown. I'm gonna take a risk of being stung to get into that box over there. Oh, wait. I've People have been in there, so there must be like some place where the grass has gone down a bit for people to get in. Here. Okay, so look out for stinging nettles and grass snakes. Could be adders in this grass, couldn't there? Yeah, there's adders in this country, but usually they don't attack humans. What, do they usually vacate the country? I don't know. Come on. Yeah, they fly abroad. How can they fly? They're <laughs> snakes. Hmm. Not as risky as I thought. Yeah? Wait, wait. I want to see the fans first. Woo! Wow. A little window. Must have been cosy in here in the winter. Wow. It's, it, this is much bigger than it seems, isn't it? Wow. So look at this, guys. Wow. Huge! This is, it's very echoey in here. Wow. I can't believe we used to build this material. So look, look how thick those walls are. Wow. See, just imagine all this. Just imagine all the graffiti. Imagine these walls being clear wood wallpaper or whatever door glass see look dad the old window frames wow very rusty wow do not expect huh? i thought you could never get into the inside of this but it's bigger than it looks see look from the outside it doesn't look that big because usually we just walk past it, it doesn't we haven't been in here before because it's usually locked away, but coming down here, yeah. So, uh, that was really cool. The, the plate makers or whatever cutters, plate makers, oh, it is so cool. Um, I think what, what I should do is like, because it's school, Dad, we've got in the library, there's an old railway line book and all about the Grand Central. <laughs> I think I read it in year two, but then I didn't really understand the language. But now I understand the language. I think I should borrow it from the library yeah. and possibly uh, get some more information. 
Wow. We have to jump here. It's like a little waterfall, isn't it? Look, Dad, watch this. Three, two, one. Oh, just made it there. What's this? See, look, the old drainage system. All these bricks. Wow. All these old rocks here. So cool. Right, so, it just me are all trains are in embankments. Can you see that newt right there? Oh, well, here's a big view of it. Wow. Absolutely looks tremendous. Oh, I might have to turn off my phone here because this is where it gets really wet. So, is it, what is it like hidden water? Okay, what is it? Grass growing in water, basically. Yeah, foggy. Yeah, in the summer, we could walk in the middle, then you can get like better views and stuff. So, starting to dry up here, this is probably where there's better drainage. Okay, I'm going to get ahead because yeah. I, want, I want to show them all. So just look at this. Wow. I think we've been out for like two hours maybe. It's going to be a long video to upload. I might just have to screen live stream it once it's been edited. That'd be the easiest option. Just look at this. Now this is where NWP Exploring has been. I was like, is this Radstone? See. It's going towards there, yeah. See that bridge up there? That's the bridge carrying the main road, I think. Yeah. Um, are we allowed to go past that gate? We'll see when we get there. And there's, there would be a sign saying if we couldn't. Because we've gone over lots of gates today, so we've probably uh, gone on a little bit of private property. No animals in that building. Yeah. We don't want to disturb them, do we? No. Must be cool being an animal in a massive embankment. Like, how do they not escape up there? Yeah, sheep. Yeah. Sheep's are good climbers. Must be a fence, I guess. Yeah. I guess there'd be a field up there, so they just got the choice to come down here, didn't they? Mm -hmm. See, this is just really, yeah, really nice. Oh, yeah, you can see the fence. I mean, look at that. Wait, is there a lever there? Oh no, it's just the gate one. Oh, that was, oh look, another drainage. I think, I think this is why this is so dry. There's still some old drainage posts. See, look, I think that's why this is the gate. So you can get a view from it up there. So can we just go to that right bit and then get like maybe a photo of it and then, because there's no private sign, we can possibly climb over it. So we're gonna go into it in a minute if we are allowed. But at the moment, we're just gonna take you up there to give you a good, view of the bridge. Wait, is that a old railway lever? Look. I could be to switch the rails into one. No, this is all double track all the way. Double track. Oh yeah, because I need to get to and from. Wait, that's a real old lever. Look at that. Oh, it's not a lever. It's like a power outpost. Yes, no, it just looked like a leaf from far away. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. So, we just got um, um, past the gate and look at all of this. Do you think this is like proper old? Oh, it's probably just cut down trees, to be honest. It doesn't look too rustic, does it? And plus, wood from that age would look something like this, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I just have to put the camera down. See, look, that's not something you'd have in the some uh, water. Uh, yeah. There's no animals, so we should be allowed. They've got to remember that this should be a walk. They should allow people to honestly pass, but then. I, I think it's inaccessible by that bridge. Under yeah. That bridge, no. Mother Nature's all stolen it. It's like when you used to take uh, my teenage brother, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he had, gives me permission to say it. He, did you guys used to walk this? Was there like, because yeah, Nate, was it you, did it used to be like a straight on path through there? 
No, you couldn't get uh, you couldn't get much further than that. Because trees can't grow in about five years at all, unless you've got bamboo or something. So just look at this. So I gotta say, uh, here's a really nice view, and uh, I really like it. And just look at this. I've never been to this part, so I'm actually properly exploring because usually I film places I've already been to. It's like a proper adventure now. Here you go. Look at that. Let me get under it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think cars go over that. I, I can't see any cars. In a minute, I'm sure you will. Yeah, Is that all coming from that direction? Yeah, that's the, that's the way we came oh, in yeah. with the helmet on. Yes, yes, yes. Why is there a massive puddle over there? I think, I think there's a massive puddle. I'm just going to zoom in. No. Oh, yeah, I see water. Or is it stone? Stone. It's an illusion. See? It's going to take us, like, 30 minutes just to get back to from where we were. Oh, no, it is overflowed. Mm. This way. Uh, yeah. Mind out, there's some nettles. <laughs> nice one. Just look at this. Oh, it looks bigger. It looks smaller further away. Wow. Didn't expect this to be this big, did you? Yeah, it's probably about the s near enough the same size as the other one. The outposts are bigger, or the tunnels or arches, whatever you want to call them. Back in the day, they used to call them outposts. Okay, I'm going to get under it. See, look, look at this. This, this is, this is unspeechable. I can't even say anything about it. I've never seen this before. I've only been over it, which is a road. The fact that it's still... And that, 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 the fact that there's not much graffiti shows that not many people have been here. Wow, look at that. Echo. Well, there's a nice echo as well. Look. What are those? Zoom in. One of them says, wait, I'll be back as... Oh, wait. They strengthen the bridge. It wait. says 2003, which so they're new. Ah. Bridge strengtheners. Wow, I didn't expect that it to go this far. Wow. I think we, this might have to go into part two because of how big it is. It might take us like half an hour to get back. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. There, look, there's some hairs. Oh, yeah. oh, I just got them on camera. Oh, they're so cute. I love hairs. Rabbits are not that clean with. Hairs usually are not scared of humans. See... Tomorrow, do you want to come back here and go even further? No, not two days no. Monday? Because no. I think my, my fans will really want me to explore down there. I didn't realise that it was this long. Literally, before we... Well, this we've... Will, go all the way back to... will it? Yeah. There'll well, probably be the things blocking it. Anyway. Yeah, there'll probably be things blocking it, like houses. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in a... Tyres which have just probably new but been dumped in there. There's another bridge up here. There's another bridge. Oh. Wait, you right? Uh, okay. uh, oh, I think this is as far as we're going. Yeah, we need to wait till July, yeah. probably. Yeah, we're not going any further. Yeah. Unless we go... No, let's head back Yeah, now, we need to head back. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm not going to film my way back there, but um, at the last bit, when we go to the side of the viaduct, um, I will... Uh, give you a bit of a side view of that and then video ends so um not right now but uh i can't film the way back so it'd probably make the video like an hour so guys literally i just noticed but uh, i'm gonna get up this car for you but uh it's really cool right there's a bunch of uh railway and stuff up here i see ballast coal and wow this must be worth a bob chew Wow, Dad, look. Have you kept hold of that coal? Wow. You seriously kept hold of that? No, I was just surprised. I thought you would have dropped it by now. Just look at all of this. 
So there's a bunch of wood lice down there. Wow. Absolutely amazing. You seen how big these rocks are, Dad? They are heavy. Look at that. Wow. I'll find a light one to take home. Um. Hmm. So this is one of the highest points of the walk. It's actually got a pretty good view. Here's the side of the viaduct. It's really good. Good view. Be a bit careful here where it gets a bit boggy. Oh, perfect here. Perfect here. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have to like look where I'm going for a sec. Okay, here's a dry spot. Look at that. Nine arches. Perfect number. Should be seven, that's the perfect number. Look, it's, it's massive. It seems bigger from this angle, but then up top it doesn't seem too big. Wow. At least 60 years old now. No, it's more than that. 100? It's over 100 years old. Sheesh. Wow. It's really nice. According to my dad, this is just about 120 years old. How is this still standing? Humanity's structures are, are basically rigged because of how long they can stand for. Look at this. All together, there's nine arches. If you count the little one over there, it's ten. There it is right there. It's not it's ten arches if you count the little one hiding yeah. behind those bridges. One, two, three, four, five, nine. six, seven, eight, nine. And those two up there is ten. So look, you got you got a tiny one hiding above there. Okay, so look. There's a little string here. I don't know if it's empty by now. It's a bit deep than I thought. So look. The bridge. River Tove. The river Tove. It's a bit Toast. small. Okay, it's a toaster. Is it, uh, so is it, uh, starts near here? I don't know. Wait, you can literally just go down that bit. Yeah, <sighs> it's normally a nuisance getting Wilson through that. This is the other railway line. Yeah, this is the, uh... That used to go that way to toaster. We don't know the name of it, so we just called it the, the town line because it just goes to so many towns. Stratford. Stratford. Oh no, that's a, that's a real one. Look, it's the end of our walk.